Hi Stephen, thanks for joining us today. What have you made of the tournament so far? I think it's terrific. You know, I think that uh, in terms of bringing people closer to your club and involved in your club is vital, you know, and wandering around the grounds and, and speaking to, to many individuals have had a terrific day and, uh, you know, the, the kids seem to have thoroughly enjoyed themselves. So, you know, it's certainly a, a worthwhile exercise and a, a terrific example to, to other clubs of how to, to bring uh, people closer to the club. Absolutely, and what's been evident is that there's been a sea of dark blue and white, lots of Falkirk community teams participate in the tournament. How important is it for professional clubs to go right to the bottom level and involve the, the community teams? Well, I think it's getting more and more important because of the financial restraints within our game. You know, I think that for many clubs and ourselves included, you know, the, the way forward is the development of young players and we have to source them at the very early stages and develop them through the club, uh, educate them in the way the, the club play and, and educate them in, in all aspects of life. And then finally you get players that are not only good technical players, but they're also, they're also good human beings, which is very important. So, you know, it, it's vital in, in our game moving forward. Now, in recent, and certainly over the last year, Falkirk have progressed an awful lot of players from the youth system. We, we had a, one article on our website which was on the, the whole back four being youth product. How pleasing is it to be able to show these youngsters that you know the route is there, they can progress to that level? Well, I think the only way they can see that is by the evidence itself, and the evidence is there. You know, I think in our last home game we had 11 academy players involved in the 16-man uh, squad, so uh, certainly the proof's in the pudding at this football club. And like I say, you know, I think if you look back at the course of history, you know, the most successful teams have all been developed through their younger players and almost creating a family spirit within their club. You know, as I say, when you, you get players into your club at a very early age, not only can you educate them on the football aspects, you can educate them as well as the way to conduct themselves in life and, and develop their attitude towards the game. And, and because of that, you know, when it finally comes to, to being in your first team, you've got players who have an affiliation with the club, a feeling for the club. And, and as I've said, the history will show you, if you look back at the Great Leeds United team, the Manchester United team, the Great Liverpool team, the vast majority of these players have been products of their youth. Fantastic, Stephen. And just one last question for you. Who did you play for as a kid, as a youth player? As a youth player, I, I played boys' club side was Inverkeaton United and uh, I came through the ranks at Rangers. So, you know, I was very fortunate. I got a good education there and, uh, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank um, you.